I have to create a launch trailer. Regulators, launching next month, it's time to do the thing that I've been delaying for a while. Now, I've been delaying it for a reason because I've been changing things left and right in the game and I don't want the trailer to show gameplay footage that's eventually not in the game. But it's time. It's time to just um, record the trailer. And while I'm recording the trailer, let's also dive into a couple of little simple tips left and right on how to create a good trailer. Hey, I'm Pascal from Morse Pixel. Welcome to another video. Let's create a game trailer. First thing is record a bunch of gameplay footage. Two tips on that. One, turn off music, background music. We don't want it because whatever we record right now will be cut up into bits and pieces. If you have background music, there's no way you're gonna stitch that back together. So turn off the music in your game, add music later. Also, because we're cutting up a lot of things, it's usually recommended to not show the status bar, health points, all those type of things, because you're gonna cut up things and you're gonna mix and match footage. So uh, the health bar could be like jumping between 12, four, eight, six, five. It wouldn't make any sense. So when you're recording footage, disable as much text and interface things as possible. Just the game footage. And now I need a game pad. I just need a lot of footage so I can start mixing and matching and then we're probably gonna re-record certain things once I know they feel good. Uh, I might want to have a better shot of those or something that's just very similar to it. Just need a lot of footage so we can start editing. I think I have enough. So I use DaVinci Resolve to edit, well, both my YouTube videos, but also my trailers. Now for the trailer, I so far only know what I want for the opening and that's the easy part. Let me show you. So for the Gauntlet of Power trailer, I had this thing where the Orange Pixel logo shows up at the start and then it shows Orange Pixel presents and then some cool stuff happened. I also did that for Space Grunts 3 preview. So I, that's pretty much the opening shot I want. The car driving in, uh, the guys getting out, some action and then uh, Regulators, the title. Now, as you can see, I already recorded something stupid. There is this mission dialogue. Um, I should disable it or I should see if I can zoom around it maybe, get it off screen completely. Um, yeah, that's just, I maybe I'll re-record it I, because I don't like it and I'm not sure that zooming in is going to be a good thing. This really feels like directing. I don't want that tree there, so I might have to find another or record another opening. Um, but I do like how this garage door opens up and we got people coming out shooting at you. So there is some cool stuff here. Uh, for now, we're gonna go with this, add in the intro regulators title, and then we're just gonna uh, find interesting gameplay moments. Now I'm uh, 30 minutes later, I think, maybe, uh, maybe 20 minutes later, and I've added the, the intro, um, added little cinematic bars, which actually remove the whole dialogue issue I have. So I can probably keep using this footage. I also add a adjustment clip right here, which allows me to do little changes, very simple stuff, but you can like mimic screen shakes or bounces by moving things around. I'll show you in a minute the results. And we have this nice little um, action ending with this guy coming out of the um, garage and me aiming at him. Now this was a shot I didn't plan on, but this actually transitions very well to the logo. Uh, so let's just look at this little intro clip I have up and running now. It might change before I release this, but it's a good start to start editing the rest of the trailer. So now I need to figure out what I want in the trailer. A couple of things that are needed. All right, so let's talk about key requirements to show what this game is about. First of all, it's a shooter, so we need shooting action. We need to show weapon variation and possibly some enemy variation just to show you that there's more to it. Then tactical action, because there are some things that allow you to move around without shooting. So flashbangs, light turning on and off to confuse enemies, things like that. Find those little things and make them in the trailer. Also, mini games, we got a bunch of them and maybe show all the tactical advantage upgrades, which are items. And somehow make it clear that this can be played by one player and you still have a team of NPCs running around. That's the list. Let's go. 
All right, I've been creative. I have a bunch of clips from what I've been recording and spreading them on my timeline. And hopefully I got a structure of what I want. I will be replacing these clips probably with better ones, but now I got a bit of a feeling of the things I want in my trailer. Also, it's the next day, but that shouldn't matter. I'm spreading this out over multiple days working on this trailer. Let me show you what I've been doing. Okay, so here we have that little intro I just showed you. And then after the intro, I want some action shots. So this is just going to be uh, some shooting things. Uh, don't have the actual shots just, just some things going on. But I need a little bit more variation. Also, we now have one building because I did one gameplay session. But we also have parks, hospitals, banks. So I want to show some variation in that. The next step is going to be somehow making clear that you have a team. And I kind of like how this looks but um, I might change it not sure but lead your team maybe have it fly in the screen and out or something normally you don't want too much text or things to read in your video or gameplay trailer but every now and then you just need to add something to make things clearer so I'm probably going to use some text here and then we'll just show some uh, movement where you're uh, leading your teammates not sure yet what um, but we're gonna get there then of course there are the mini games perform tasks uh, might have to find a better wording for this but we're just going to show like a, a couple of these clips i'm not sure if i want them like this because it's pretty static and somewhat slow but um i have to figure it out how it works with the sound but we're going to show those type of clips then i will need some tactical things like taking down somebody um, like a slow takedown a few more of those type of moments then i want a level up the recruit or more the level up screen so that you know you can actually um, improve your teammates and their skills i'll also i haven't recorded it but i have to show the different characters and the different play styles and eventually we'll end with this one and i already had a clip for the post of this i always like to add a little extra after the end clip or after the end slate so we're going to use the dog so that for those people that keep watching the trailer they will get this little extra bit of information about the game that might make them curious why the dog there was no mention of the dog so um got a sort of timeline going on now uh, next up is recording the right amount of clips to place on this timeline which means there's a lot more recording required now i'm trying to aim for like a one minute trailer uh, maybe a little bit over it like 10 12 seconds longer but preferably game trailers are pretty short and sweet uh, unless you have a triple a game and so much stuff to show you can try to go for a bigger trailer but maybe you then want a gameplay trailer showing just all the gameplay or a whole gameplay session this is a launch trailer uh, get to the point make it fast make it quick uh, make it interesting that's really the goal here uh, so let's see where we end up a few hours later now i've been recording a bunch of gameplay but i've also been diving into the code of the game because certain things weren't happening the way i wanted to do so i found myself in a little wormhole finding bugs and fixing them but that's all done. Currently I'm working on a little weapon montage showing a bunch of weapons but also different characters. For that I needed to do a little extra code. I created a little button so that I can press F3 and then my character changes into one of the other characters and I get a new weapon. This way I could very easily record uh, just one bit of footage with a lot of weapons, a lot of characters. Now I'm editing them all into one sequence. I wanted to show you this little bit where I'm actually lining up the different um, the location of the character. So we have the main character over here in this shot, in the previous shot, at the same spot roughly, because this is where the viewer is looking at. We're following that main character from uh, one frame to the other and then um, it's much easier on the eyes if you can stay focused on that one single spot right here and not have to start moving your eye sights or your eye line. So, um, that's what I'm doing now, really ending, finding the end of every clip and then making sure the next clip like this, this character, we're, we're looking over here and now suddenly we have to look over there. That's straight into the eye. So we're going to zoom in this one a little bit. Um, this is going to be a tricky one. Let's see if we can line it up a little bit over where we were watching. 
Now we're gonna have to do some zoom and movement because most of the action in this shot happens uh, lower on screen. So we really want to start um, panning it to a other different spot so that we can view the whole action. Let's see if this works. Um, let's just play it. All right, we might want to slow down that, that transition a little bit. That really works. Um, we're now watching at this location and we can actually move in that, that location. So I'm also going to increase the length of this clip just a little bit because I, I don't want the viewer to miss the action. And that shot has to be very clear that you're actually shooting at a wall, which then bounces back to that character. So I think this works a lot better. We're going to move this over there, have that zoom and movement happen first. And that's a much cleaner shot. And then we move into the next shot. Now I know what you think this might feel or sound like a bit of overkill, but the end result in a video like this, just the tiniest details, uh, they do matter. And if you've been working on a game for a very long time, why not put that same relative amount of time into the trailer? So wasting a couple of days or a whole week on this and just fine tuning the details, um, it's important. People are gonna watch this trailer uh, more likely than they actually play the game. So based on this trailer, they will make the decision if they want to get into the game or not. So it's important to just tweak details like this until it feels um, done and perfect. Also going to add a bunch of sound effects later on. I have a lot of radio samples that are in the game uh, created by friends and people on the Discord. Um, I should use them just to add to the action. Um, a lot of those voice samples play in the game, but not in the clips that I'm selecting now. So I'm going to add them later on. And of course, I have all the sound effects from the game, which I'm going to sprinkle over it here and there just to add a little extra at the right time. And then the transition from clip to clip, um, trying to put that on the beat of the music or the background music that's playing. All of that should result in an interesting trailer, but there's still a long way to go. I'm, st I'm still missing a bunch of clips that I need to create and I might still replace a bunch of clips I already have. So we're not done yet. And my timeline now says one minute and 12 seconds. And I think I have everything I need in this trailer. Still gonna replace clips here and there. I've put a preview of this on the Discord, uh, but it's now Friday. I still have a couple of days um, editing the trailer before this video goes live. Um, for now, I think I'm ending it here, both my work on the trailer, but also the work on this video, because yeah, crazily enough, I've been doing both the trailer recording and the making of this video together at the same time, which has been an interesting challenge. By the time this video goes live, there should be a trailer either on the Discord, and I'm keeping it private, or it's coming on the YouTube channel somewhere after this video, maybe next Monday. Hopefully it's done by then. Right now I'm just gonna let it sit there and look at it again on Monday after the weekend and just see if I'm still uh, liking the things I've created. Maybe I think it sucks completely and I have to redo it all over. More likely I'll find certain things that can be done better and improved upon uh, and maybe I'll swap some things. I already noticed that I have a lot of action and shooting and then a little tactical sneaking and those type of things. And maybe I, I probably want to swap those around so that we first start with calm uh, movement, sneaking around, taking down enemies, and then we go into the action. So that's already something I'm going to swap and see how that feels. And besides that, I need some uh, audio files here and there. Also, I don't have any of the big enemies, so I'll need to replace some of these action clips with action clips that look the same, but where I actually shoot at Medusa or a big blob or whatever I call it. And maybe some of these ooze worms, the scorpion. There are other type of creatures and enemies in the game. They are not showing up right now. So that might need a little work. And that will mean recording a few tiny little clips, but luckily for me, I can spawn these creatures at any point. So I'll just dive into a level with a random character, random weapon, spawn the creature, shoot at it, record that part, and then we'll have a clip, in theory. And I guess we'll know if this all works once the trailer goes live. And that's it for this week's video. Um, thanks for watching. 
make sure to like, subscribe, comment below, do all those things. If you have questions about creating trailers or what you saw in this video, let me know in the comments below any questions. I'll try to answer them. Of course, if you're one of the idle watchers who has nothing to comment or add to this video, but want to help me get these videos noticed by the YouTube algorithm, comment below the word trailer. Then I know you appreciate the videos and hopefully it also pushes these videos up to the YouTube algorithm awareness in a world. I should have added that to the trailer. There's still time to edit it. Anyway, see you next week. Bye.